today I'm going to show you guys how to take care of little rust spots on your car okay not humongous rust holes but just surface rust that starts bubbling under your paint and how to take care of it before it spreads into losing a rocker panel or a fender or something like that right above the headlight here there's rust starting right along here starting to bubble up under my paint and you can feel it and then uh, you can actually start to see it so um, this spot might be pretty bad once we start uh, sandblasting and getting to the bottom of it it might uh, spread pretty far but that's what it starts to look like okay so if you have a, a part that you're gonna do on the car like say the hood in this case or um, a door anything that you could remove from the car it's easier to remove it get it off of the car that way you don't have to uh, tape up and plastic your whole car because uh, these sandblast particles the sand is gonna go everywhere um, and it will get every in every little nook and cranny so if you don't have uh, the part taped off good enough uh, sand will get everywhere <laughs> Okay, so after you get the sandblasting done and we remove all the plastic and the tape from your hood, and obviously this hood is silver, so this is a different hood than that was in the first video, but it gives you an idea of what your finished product is gonna look like after sandblasted. This was our bubbled rust area was down here. So there wasn't really any rust on this metal yet, so we caught it early. But this area is all sandblasted now, and we're down to bare metal. So what we're going to want to do now is you get your materials you're going to need is some mineral spirits or acetone, something to clean the metal with. Um, and what I like to use to seal it up is POR15. Um, you can get it in a couple different colors. I'm not sure of everything they make it in, but I know black, um, gray. This one is a silver. So it'll kind of match this hood. Um, and then you're going to apply that with a foam brush. Not like a, a regular paint brush or anything. You're going to kind of just dab it. Um, and they say you can put this right over rust. But I always like to get down to the bare metal. That way it will last longer. As you have a better chance of it not returning. Um, so let's do a little bit of the mineral spirits. Okay, and then you're just going to take your rag, you're just going to get it damped, and then we're just going to dab the area that we sandblasted, just to get nice and clean, okay. Okay, and then we're going to let that dry before we begin our seal coat. Okay, now that our mineral spirits is dry, which uh, you can kind of tell, like uh, you can see the metal again looks dried out. When you first put that mineral spirits on there, um, the metal is gonna be a darker looking color because it's gonna be damp. So, um, you can see now that it's back to its lighter steel color, so it's dried out. Um, so, we gotta get our POR15 here, and then here's our little foam brush that we're gonna use. And we're just gonna, you're just gonna barely get any on the end. You know, like, looks like nothing, okay? Little tiny spots like this, not gonna take much at all. And you're just gonna kind of dab it and wipe it and get it close to the edge as you can we'll worry about filling it all in in a couple coats and it says to do you want to do your first coat kind of light so just brush it on there and get 
areas that you want to seal and then uh, you're going to do a, a minimum of two coats. You'll see the second coat, you'll be able to tell it uh, starts to cover a lot more. This first coat is really thin. Okay, so we're going to put, this is actually my third coat. Okay, you want to do at least two coats, I said earlier. Um, the more you put on, the thicker it's going to be. So we're just trying to blend this a little bit better. When this all dries, you can sand this spot and then try to uh, um, use the color match touch-up paint and kind of blend it a little better if you want. Um, this is the silver POR15. So, it, I mean, it gives it, it's not so obvious, but there's lots of different finish ways you can finish it. And I'll show a couple other finished products so you have other options okay so i decided after um after i did three coats of the por 15 um i decided that i'm going to try the the match the color match uh, touch up paint on here um just to kind of blend it a little bit better so it doesn't look so obvious of a repair um so in order to do that, if that's what you decide to do after you do your POR15 or whatever you're going to use to um, seal over the sandblast, the spot you sandblasted, um, you're going to hit the area with a little bit of 320 wet sandpaper, um, just the area that you repaired, um, and then wipe it. You know, you're just going to you're going to sand it until the area that you repaired is a dull finish so it's not glossy anymore and then you're going to just wipe it clean with mineral spirits again depending on your dealer they should have a touch-up paint that matches your vehicle um you have to give them a paint code or a vin number or something and they should be able to hook you up with something and it's gonna be a little tube it's not much so it's just for little tiny areas this thing right here is gonna have a brush in it it has a pin on this end that you could use. And then down here is going to be the clear coat that you'll put after you're done doing your touch up. And you're just going to do, you, you do however many coats you want to, but the important part is your first coat, you want it really, really thin. Don't try to get, don't try to co cover the whole thing with one coat. So do your first coat very thin and i'm going to use the brush applicator end for something like this because it's a it's a bigger little area the pin the pin in is for like little rock chips and things like that and it's very hard to make this touch-up paint thing look good so you're kind of just uh making it look better than it than a rust spot really so and a lighter color is a lot easier to do than something darker so you're just getting the area and you want to try to smooth it out a little bit but it's hard to do So that's the first coat on there. So you let that dry about half hour or so, and then put another coat and you can continue to put as many coats as you want till you feel it's blended as good as you're gonna get it. And, and then when you're done with your final coat, we'll do the, the clear coat. It's just a protective coat on top of the paint to harden it up and so we'll, well, this will take a couple coats because you can see this one. You can see uh, you can see the different um, level of paint where we sandblasted is a lot lower than the original paint. So we'll try to keep doing some more coats to build that up a little bit. We can get it pretty close, but 
Like I said, it's not going to be perfect, but it'll be better than rust bubbles. Okay, so this is after this is after about uh, four or five coats of the touch-up paint I put on here. Um, you can still see, you know, the little area that you sandblasted, you know, different levels of your original paint and then your touch-up. Um, it's up to you from this point. You can go right to your clear coat, the other end of that touch-up, of the touch-up paint you get from your dealership has a clear coat in it, and that's your final coat that's going to seal this all up and give it a nice gloss look. Um, if, you're, if you're okay with that finish like that, you know, where you can kind of see it, not too bad, uh, you can go ahead and seal that up and be done. Um, or look at this one here that I started. I'm trying on this one. I hit it with some more wet sandpaper with uh, 2000 grit, not the 320 that we used before, but now we're gonna use the 2000 grit. Um, that's called color sanding. Um, you're gonna get that till you see, you're gonna try to smooth the paint out a little bit. And right here, you can, you can even see and I can feel that there's still a lip around the whole area that we've been touching up. Um, so I think I hit that with the 2000 wet sand paper. Um, I'm gonna try to build the paint up again, do some more touch up on here, um, and see if I can build that up even more to get it smoother looking, maybe even sand it some more. Um, and, uh, and then all this, this flat paint that you see around here, uh, when you clear coat it, it should take care of that. I'm just trying to see how good I can actually get this. Um, depending on your vehicle or your situation, you may be fine with with this, uh, this finish right here and just clear coat it and be done, which is fine. I mean, from a distance or unless you actually know that a repair was done right here, probably people wouldn't even be able to tell. Um, but I'm just trying to see how good I can actually get it. Um, you're not gonna get this factory finish with a little touch-up brush, that's for sure. Um, but if I can get a little less noticeable, I'm gonna try that, so. Okay, so we did the wet sanding with the 2000 grit, and then um, I put another coat of touch-up paint in, the, in our areas we're working on here. Um, so now I'm gonna do the final step of the clear. And uh, see how that goes here. And you should only need one coat of the clear. And I'll get around the area a little bit because I went past our spot that we worked on with the wet sand in so I'm just trying to polish that area up a little bit also while we're doing this okay this is our finished product here this is with us color sanding it and putting two three coats of clear coat on top of that and that's your finished product so a little bit of imperfection, but doesn't look too bad. And it looks a lot better than rust. Um, I have two other finished products. Let me show you, give you an example of different colors and one without doing touch up paint, just with the POR 15 and show you what that looks like. Okay, so this is another spot that I did. This is um, just sandblasted and sealed with POR 15. Um, I didn't do any touch-up paint there or try to blend that. I just left that. So it gives you a few options. Um, the most important thing to do is sandblast it, get rid of that rust, seal it up with the POR 15. And then what you want to do from there, you know, depends on you. As long as you get it sealed with that POR 15, later down the road in the future, you can hit it with the touch-up paint. You can get that panel or that piece painted professionally. Um, just gives you a lot more options, but you get rid of the rust so it won't spread and it doesn't look so bad. 